All right, and we're back. So I mentioned this, like, bullshit puzzle the entire game, but, uh, well, we're gonna get into it in a minute. We gotta get to the ship. Yeah, we gotta get to the ship. We. Yeah. You and me. Heads up. <sighs> okay. I also love when Lando just yells, BLAST HIM! It just sounds so fucking extreme. <laughs> I love it. This is also another level where we have to do things in a certain sequence, otherwise the level will just not let you finish it, which I'm not a big fan of. We can't just blitz through all the things if we already know it. I don't like that. But... Ah, there's my baby. My Open baby. Give me a minute to check things out. How's it look? Well, it does look like we could just fly her out of here. She's held in place by magnetic moorings, and they've got one tough tractor beam online. I can deal with those here, but that doesn't solve the bigger problem. The entrance to the pad is closed, and I don't think they're going to just open it up for us if we ask politely. You'll have to find the flight control center and open the door to the star pad. Better get going. I would guess we can expect some company pretty soon. Good luck, Kyle. Thanks. Anyways. Yeah, this level has one of the worst puzzles in it, because it's just A, not telegraphed well, and B, it's just pretty bad. I don't like it. So, we can kind of do uh, what I... I cut the power to the moorings, and I think they'll be in for surprise if they try to use that track to be. Oh, will they? I'll let you know when I get Anyways, we can kind of clear out certain parts of the level, which I like. That's handy because you're gonna have to backtrack through a lot of this shit eventually and my goodness these damn snipers are just everywhere I swear to god it's like the developers just knew that nobody liked them so they put them in the game so for me I have my light amp goggles are set to alt uh, left alt to be exact you actually can't see. Look how damn dark this is. You can't see in this. Even if you shoot, it's still way too dark to see. So you need to use your light amp to do this. Which I think is odd. And you also, when you're in light amp, it doesn't let you, uh, like, look anywhere else with your lightsaber but first person. I don't have the slightest clue why that is, but it's just the way the game works. I, I couldn't tell you why, man. Have I mentioned that those Grands will just drop grenades on you when they die, and it's random as hell, and sometimes you can't see it, you just hear it? Because I don't think I've mentioned that yet, because it happens a lot, and it's very fucking irritating. Okay. If I haven't mentioned this before either, we Kuei are actually my favorite Star Wars species, I just think they look really cool. Like, I actually used to have um, a we Kuei action figure. I think it was... Um, I'm not like a toy person because I'm an adult, so I don't have any idea what series it was from. But it was like, I want to say it was the Power of the Force series. Um, ah, uh, well, I thought there was shields in there, never mind. Anyways, and he, it was a skiff guard, Wee Kuei, and he had the, uh, the little skiff staff thing. And he had like this kind of squat stance. I fucking play with that thing till he died, man. My cat ate his dreadlocks off, and I was really angry about it, too. <laughs> so, yeah, I had a shitload of Star Wars action figures growing up. I mean, I'm not one of those people that needs to have, like, all your nostalgia and your childhood to validate life afterwards. I'm not one of those people that really cares. But if you do, that's more power to you. But I personally don't have any reason to, like, look for my old stuff as a kid because I'm like I'm an adult I don't really care as much so I'm gonna play a game about Star Wars and relive all my little action fantasies I had when I was a kid playing with my action figures right dude I fucking played so much with action figures as a kid it's probably what developed my ability as a writer I thought that was a dead grenade I'm not gonna lie um, but shit dude I played with like Legos Star Wars guys that's what we- we didn't call them Star Wars action figures when we were kids, we just called them Star Wars guys, okay, that's- well, Let's not beat around the bush, we didn't call them <coughs> anything else. We just called them our guys, or whatever, you know. Oh, and by the way, Lando can die, and it's a game over state. It's very bullshit. Thanks, Kyle. I should be okay now. 
Also, I like to point out that whenever Kyle and Lando interact with each other, it shows that they have history as characters, and I quite like that. That's good writing. I mean, it's a very bullshit story in this game, but I personally like the idea that they have a history together as friends and, like, partners in crime. I like that. It, it's good character writing. You know, this game makes me want to play Fear. Um, I love Fear, by the way. It's a great game. Um, the sequel is okay. It's kind of more of the same syndrome. But, um... Fear 3 was ass. Don't even try to go there. I... If you like Fear 3, that's that's nice, but your opinion doesn't matter, and that game's pretty shit. Like, mechanically, story-wise, uh, graphically, gameplay, obtrusive, fucking obnoxious, constant pop-ups while you're playing the game about, Cool! Brother Kill! You did this! Look at the numbers of things you've done! I can't stand when games do that. It's absolutely fucking annoying. It's one of the most unappealing games I've ever played. And let's not forget the ending, which, who's the better brother? And then it's just like, this is the most dumb shit ever. I liked it better when Fear was just a game where you shot fucking dudes in slow motion and there was a scary ghost girl. And then they turned it into like, oh, and then she rapes a guy because edgy lol. And I'm like, this is the most contrived shit I've ever played. I don't think Fear 2 is a bad game, but it's definitely not a great story. If you think Fear 2 has got a great story, that's fine. But Fear 1 was a good game. I think Fear 1's fine. I personally don't really think everything needs a fucking sequel. Yay, we have access to the star pad. We can have all the access to the stars and the pads. But, you know, I don't think everything needs a fucking sequel. That's, to me, as a writer as well, I don't think everything needs to be sequelized. I don't think everything needs to have an entire backstory, you know, explained in graphic detail. You know, there is such a thing as brevity, and there is such a thing as, you know, just... I, I believe the term I'm looking for here is, um, show, don't tell. Like, you don't need everything to be expository. You don't need... It's why I hate when movies and games, especially games, because it's incredibly patronizing to the player, where characters just spout off every single fucking verbatim action, kind of like what I'm doing right now. Except, they don't give the player any time to process shit. Oh, there you go, you saw me do it, I just did some wall running. Um, like, you just don't have time to process your own information. The game just overloads you with shit to where you're just in a linear sequence. It's so fucking frustrating and it's so... Oh, it's awful, I hate it. It's like the worst shit in games. Diablo 3 is a prime example of that. That's a game where... Hey, buddy! Hey, buddy. <laughs> But of course, this isn't the end. It's like in Diablo 3 when characters just literally spout off entire paragraphs while you're doing like 150 things. You're killing like 60 enemies on screen. Your character's clipping off dumb shit saying like, oh yes, that's impossible, whatever. And while you're doing like 300 things, it creates this massive amount of ludonarrative dissonance. It is so fucking insulting to me as a person. As a person and as a gamer, it's absolutely insulting, and I can't stand game design like that. It actually pisses me off. Oh shit, Lando's in trouble. He can die here, and it's very annoying. You know, I think a game is pretty much solid if the game itself can explain everything. Yeah, there's times where you have to have some, like, dialogue explained, whatever, but... It's just the amount. That's what I have a problem with, you know? I can't stand when a game is like... And then I walked it. It's... The Last of Us is absolutely criminal with this. And say what you will about it. I don't think it's a bad game. But it's not how people interact. Not every single person tells their entire life story all while they're walking. Most people don't even say anything. So what's new? There's no fuel coming through the line. Oh no. Anyways, yeah, this is, like I was saying, the non-linear part. I like the interior of the ship, too. I just wish games respected the player more and let the player absorb and, like, take in information. And when they don't let you do that, it's incredibly insulting to me, and I can't stand it. It's something that, like... Here's a good example, okay? Call of Duty Black Ops, the first one. 
is the example I say where Call of Duty just was like, you get yelled at by a guy to do everything and you never get to think the player... As soon as the player character starts talking in that game, you pretty much are... You have no agency as a player anymore. It's, it's so insulting. And I can't stand it. Everyone talks so fucking, like, meta and, like... It's, I, I can't stand it. It's, it's like, ironic without understanding irony, I guess. It's like when people say ironic when they don't know what ironic actually means, and it's really fucking annoying, and it drives me up a wall. Because as a writer, yes, it's absolutely important to understand concepts like that. But it's just like... When people are like, oh, it's ironic and funny, it's like, why don't you just say it's funny? Don't say it's funny and ironic, because those are the two, like, things I always hear people pair it with. And I'm like... Why, why does everyone just say ironic? Why can't you just say it's funny? Why do you have to say it's ironic if it doesn't have any irony? It just, it's something that just bothers me as a person. Maybe it's because I have OCPD. That might be a reason. But I think it's also to do with people just dumbing down as like, in general. So it's, it could be that. But as someone who analyzes art, literature, film, music, everything like that, I feel like I have a little bit of credibility on this subject. Especially as a consumer. Because I don't make shitty purchases because I value my time, I value my input, I, I want to be motivated, I want to be, I want to be, you know, Kyle's ass right now, okay, I want to be that, let me be that, let me reach out and touch Kyle's ass, how about that, um, but yeah, it's like, this is the kind of game that I think is the, the happy medium, it, it has story when it needs to, and exposition when it needs to, the son telling you, you're the Kyle Katarn that destroyed Jarek at the Valley of the Jet- Why did we- Okay, to replace that line to make it sound way less fucking jarring, just say, You're the Kyle Katarn I've heard so much about from other Dark Jedi. That would be better, rather than saying, You're Kyle Katarn who stopped Jarek at the Valley of the Jedi- Do you see how odd that is? Yeah, man, we still need that fuel, though. So we still have this one last puzzle to solve. And then this level's Dunyan Rings. I'm happy. But you know what I mean. I think Lando doesn't have to tell me the fuel is a car carbonic synthetic material, whatever. Like, you don't need to hear him say that. So, anyways. So, I was bitching about this earlier. This whole game. So, you see these little pumps? These are the ones we don't need. So, we don't need this X. And we don't need, I think it's a, like a rectangle shape, right? Yeah, we don't need the X and the, we don't need gray. We don't need yellow and gray. We need red and green. So, red and green gets you mean. However, I honestly don't remember the order they go in, so... Yeah. Also, this enemy repopulation is okay in this instance to me, because... You know, I hate enemy repopulation in some instances, but... I think this is fine, because it tells the player to go in this direction. I don't think it's too bad. It's, it is pretty awful, but I don't think it's the worst. Okay. Take care of that shit, and I think that's all the enemies right now. I'm, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, that's all of them. I forgot to mention the, the fusion cells. I think they look like macaroni. <laughs> Call me crazy, but it's, that's what they look like to me. So, as we can see, we got this little doodad right here, right? So we need uh, green and red. Or it's the other way around. Well... Well, what the hell? Okay, oh, I'm dumb. I think it might be gray. No? You see, this is what I mean. There's no... Okay, it is those two you need. <laughs> Alright, fuck. Well, there you go. You see what I mean? I don't like puzzles like this, because there's absolutely nothing that tells you it. It's just... I guess you could say that was the fuel. So I'm just dumb. Don't listen to me. I don't know anything about video games. I just bitch about everything. And there's where 
I like how they just got him a gun. Going somewhere, gentlemen. You'd better get on the gun and hold him off. I'll have this fixed in a jiffy. I prefer Skippy, if I'm honest. I'm not really a Jiff man. Okay. Oh shit! Shit! Okay, we gotta get rid of these assholes. Which, by the way, you don't have very much time to do this at all. Uh... And that's it. I just love the yeehaw. It's incredible. Right, say goodbye to this wretched hive of scum and villainy, and hello to <coughs> city. Need any help? Just sit back and get some rest. I'll work out a plan to get DeSan and his remnant friends out of my city. <laughs> I wish I could fall asleep that fast. On second thought, Tavion. Kill her. Kyle! Oh! <laughs> Kyle, wake up. <laughs> uh, no, no, Chet! Kyle, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll be fine. Good. While you were sleeping, I hailed a new Republic base on Solace. They haven't shown much interest in our little smuggling problem in the past, but now that they know remnant forces are behind it, they're eager to pitch in. A strike team should be arriving on Desmond within a few hours. No! <laughs> I thought you'd be happy to. They'll tip off the sun. Then we'll catch them later. Getting the sun isn't as important as clearing the city. Chan's dead, Lando. The sun and his minion killed him. Right, I'm sorry. what we'll do. I'll drop you off on the lower levels. They've probably been overrun by remnant troops, so watch out. Chances are that Desan's operating from one of the loading bays above level 10, but you'll never get in without the proper access codes. Try to find Carbonite 17. I've hidden an old R5 unit there with codes to every loading bay in the city. You always did plan for the worst. Ever since that run-in with Vader. Anyway, I'll head up top and gather some old friends from the security force. We'll work our way down towards your position. If we're lucky, we can trap Desan before the New Republic arrives. So yeah, that was basically all of Nar Shada. Not the worst, and definitely not the best. So, anyways, <clears throat> that was the uh, the kind of session I'm going to do. I'm actually going to take a break um, and do some housework and stuff. But as you can see, we got Force Heal now. That's kind of cool, I guess. But uh, we'll go into Bespin in a few minutes. Uh, just stare at Kyle's ass and uh, wait for the next episode. I'll see you then. Look at it.